Facial danger zone 2 extends from the inferior border of the zygomatic arch to a line above the bony lateral canvas. This zone is best localized by drawing three lines define a triangle in which the temporal branch of the facial nerve lies on the under surface of the temporal branch of the facial mass layer. A line from a point 0.5 cm below the tragus to a point 2 cm above the lateral eyebrow. A second line is drawn along the goma to the lateral orbital rim and the third line is then dropped from the point above the eyebrow to the zygoma. So here is presentation of the facial danger zone 2 is outlined by drawing a line starting 0.5 cm below the tragus to a point 2 cm above the lateral eyebrow drawing a second line on the zygoma to the lateral orbital rim and finally connecting these two lines with a third line This zone shows the course of the temporal branch of the facial nerve above the zygoma. Facial gender zone 2 includes the area where the temporal or sometimes called frontal branch of the facial nerve runs under the temporal brighter facial mass layer. Injury to the temporal branch results in paralysis of the frontalis muscle. However, orbicular sucoli function is paired following temporal branch injury because the muscle receives motor innervation from superior branches of the zygomatic branch of the facial nerve. These photos show the effect of temporal branch injury after a bro lift. You can see Loss of the function of the frontalis muscle in elevation of the eyebrow, so the eyebrow is not elevated on the affected side. And eventually, the forehead wrinkles disappear, I mean the forehead appears smoothly. This photo also shows injury of the temporal nerve on the left side, failure of elevation of the eyebrow on the left side, and also disappearance of the wrinkles on the affected side. The section of facial danger zone 2 may be carried out deep to the temporal lateral fascia smith layer or simultaneously above this layer but not immediately beneath the temporal parietal fascia mass layer. Marino advised to develop what's called mesotemporalis, I mean making a mesentery for the temporal parietal fascia wound section by dissecting the temporal parietal fascia smash layer from the scalp towards the supraorbital rim down to the level of the zygoma and dissecting the supra smash layer subcutaneously in the cheek from the mandibular limus up to the zygoma. The point at which these two planes meet reveals the smash layer or the mesotemporalis in which the temporal branch of the fascia nerve resides. Here is the way to show the surgical exposure to the mesotemporalis containing the temporal branch of the facial nerve during right dictomy or facelift and coronal bro lift. <laughs> 